Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTaker. Finally friends, I'm back with another video on the default 90 FPS battery runs mobile game support test in which smartphone process. Yes friends, recently I'm getting plenty of comments on this particular topic that what are the Snapdragon process did support the 90 FPS by default without using any kind of GFX tool and without using any kind of config file. So I did gather all the smartphones what I'm having right now in my studio on this table as you can clearly see friends. And now I'm going to demonstrate exactly what are the smartphones phones they do support default 90 fps and previously i did upload the video on the 1.8 version if you want you can check out that video 1.8 version but in case if you want to know more details about the 1.9 version try to click on the playlist in my channel and you can actually find all the information related to the 1.9 version as well and let's get started friends with in this video so first we do know there are two different processes like snapdragon series and dimensity series so right now let's focus on first on the snapdragon and then next on the dimensity process so in the snapdragon process starting with the first First processor which is 778G processor. I did not select any other processor less than this because those are not that much capable of, of playing at 90 FPS so it is not worth even to uh, try and describe in this video. So right now 778G processor right now I do I have the first phone which is a Realme GT Master Edition with me. So this is a Realme GT Master Edition. So right now I try to show you the default graphic settings what you can actually play in this device. So you can see even smooth and extreme settings that's perfect. So at least you can play 60 FPS. So balance and ultra, HDR and ultra, HDR and ultra, ultra HD is not supported. So this can be also applicable for other Snapdragon 778G processors. So you should definitely remember. That's the reason I'm focusing on the Snapdragon processors in, instead of smartphones. So always uh, consider this one. So 778G, we cannot get 90 FPS unfortunately, that kind of tick mark. Next processor is the Snapdragon 888, uh, Snapdragon 855 Plus, so which is a Realme X2 Pro device. Realme X2 Pro did support by default 90 FPS. Right now I don't have this device because I did give the phone to my cousin brother. That's the reason I don't have the phone. As you can see, friends, this is my my video exactly demonstrating the 90 FPS option on the Realme X2 Pro. So definitely the Snapdragon 855 Plus also supports the 90 FPS without any kind of problem. It supports 90 FPS, but in the Realme X2 Pro, I'm not sure about other smartphones, but in the Realme X2 Pro, it did support. And next is the Snapdragon 860. So we do have one and only one phone, which is a Poco X3 Pro device, so is a phone. Poco X3 Pro, as you can see, is a Poco X3 Pro. So right now, let me show you exactly the default settings, what's happening here. So smooth and extreme settings. So there is no 90 FPS, unfortunately, and balanced and extreme, HDR and extreme, HDR and extreme, and ultra HD and ultra, as you can clearly see, friends. So there is no 90 FPS support in the Poco X3 Pro device with the Snapdragon 860 chipset. So that's also kind of slightly into mark. Next is a Snapdragon 865. So in the Snapdragon 865, I do have one phone, which is a OnePlus 8T. Where is that phone? OnePlus 8T, yeah, this is the phone. So this is a OnePlus 8T, friends, as you can clearly see. So recently, the phone did receive the Android 12 update as well. But anyway, the phone has got 90 FPS from very long back by default, as you can see, default 90 FPS. So smooth and balanced and extreme, HDR and extreme, HDR and extreme. Ultra HD and Ultra will be supported. But the thing is that there's some problem is going on with the OnePlus UI at this moment. You cannot get 90 FPS working at this point because the real time FPS I'm getting only 60. As you can see, when there's some kind of UI problem is going on in this OnePlus 80 at this moment, even in the display also, I did enable the 120 Hertz refresh rate. You can see 120 Hertz it's enabled, but still I'm not getting that kind of uh, 90 while gaming in this oneplus 80 you need to use some other trick to get 90 fps in the oneplus 80 which i did upload the video you can check out that video as soon as possible but overall by default the phone supports so maybe in the future the oneplus may give the update to fix the issue so snapdragon 865 supports the 90 fps in the oneplus 80 next is a snapdragon 870 this is the most demanded processor in the 2021 snapdragon 870 because the lot of other flagship phones got released with the snapdragon 870 like oneplus 9r iq 7 device realme gt neo 2 mi 11x device vivo x60 lot of phones got released with snapdragon 870 so unfortunately only one of them supports 90 fps right now i do have the iq sound device with me the phone don't support any kind of 90 fps it will not support as you can clearly see friends it doesn't support any 90 fps balance and extreme hd and extreme hdr and extreme ultra hd and ultra 
same thing applicable for the realme gt neo 2 this is also realme gt neo 2 even this phone also has got same kind of graphics even with the mi 11x device as well so in the snapdragon 870 there is only one phone which is the vivo x60 supports 90 fps in the snapdragon 855 plus which is x2 pro supports 90 fps i'm not sure about other models so vivo x60 i did get a lot of uh, comments as well regarding this particular model there are a lot of other subscribers who did use the x60 that's the reason i was able to know it next is the snapdragon 888 processor so in the snapdragon 888 processor with me in my studio i do have the iq 9 device 9 sc sorry not 9 iq 9 sc this is an iq 9 sc let me need to log in at this moment first so this icon and SE which has got the Snapdragon 888 processor. So in this device, I'll try to show you what's happening here. So by default, so there is no 90 FPS. As you can see, by default, there is no 90 FPS. Balanced and extreme, you can play. HD and extreme, HDR and extreme, ultra HD and ultra, you can play in this device. In clear sequence, in this ICO 9 SE. So there is no 90 FPS, but there is some kind of different gimmick you can actually use in this phone which is called the game frame interpolation this game frame interpolation actually boosts the fps from 60 to 90 hertz yes that's kind of possible in the icon and sc that's uh, one thing but the game feels slightly kind of lag while uh, using this feature which is a game frame interpolation feature if you try to use it it's pretty smooth but sometimes it, it feels lag it's very smooth in other games other games like fifa and games in impact it's very smooth but not in the battlegrounds mobile game in call of duty it's not that smooth you, so by default there is no 90 fps you need to use this kind of gimmick which is present here to get 90 fps from the iq so this is about the iq 9 sc but i do have the knowledge about other uh, snapdragon 8 process for example like realme gt and iq 7 legend they do support 90 fps so that's about the Snapdragon 888 processor. Next thing about Snapdragon 888 Plus, yes, did support 90 FPS without any kind of issues. So right now I do have the one phone which is Snapdragon 888 Plus IQ 9 device. So IQ 9 which has got Snapdragon 888 Plus supports by default 90 FPS, no issues at all. By default. Balanced Extreme HD and Extreme HDR and Extreme Ultra HD and Ultra is supported. Exactly. So you will be able to play exact 90 FPS without any problems in the iQOO 9 with the Snapdragon 888 plus chipset. So that's it friends, this is a quick uh, review about the Badwins mobile game on Snapdragon process. Now it's time to discuss about the Dimensity process. So in the Snapdragon, try to remember, so 888 plus, 888 and even 870 only in the Vivo X60, 868 in the OnePlus 8T and 855 plus in the X2 Pro. These are the few Snapdragon process which supports the battery and small game default 90 FPS. Next, about the Dimensity 1000 Dimensity process. In this Dimensity process, let's start with the first process which is the Dimensity 1200, which is none other than the Realme X2 Pro device which is present here. So this is the Realme X2 Pro. So by default, we do get the option in the Realme X2 Pro which is the 90 FPS. As you can clearly see, 90 FPS. Smooth and extreme HD and extreme HD and extreme ultra HD is supported. So 90 FPS by default, but the Realme UI will be allowing you to play only at 70 FPS. Yes, absolutely. You cannot play at 90 FPS. You cannot play at 90 FPS. It is restricted to only 70 FPS only in the Realme X1 Max device. So what about other Dimensity 1200 mobile phones? I do have, I think, two phones with me. This is a Poco F3 GT. So the Poco F3 GT till now didn't get any 90 FPS, but all the graphics got unlocked, everything, everything to the maximum. As you can see, UHD is not there, but anyway, everything to the maximum except 90 FPS in the Poco F3 GT, damage to 1200. Next, pro, next is the OnePlus Nord 2. This is completely kind of, uh, I think, leftover mobile phone, I would say, because it's not that optimized at this moment. Smooth and extreme, balanced and ultra not even balanced and extreme because these two smartphones with the same damage to 1200 they can play it higher extreme but this oneplus not is not optimized properly so hd and X ultra hd and ultra ultra hd is not even supported you can clearly see friends what's going on between this damage to process that's a quick review so in the dimensity 1200 yes only 
x7 max default next is dimensity 920 chipset so dimensity 920 where is the phone 920 it should be somewhere around here yeah this is a dimensity 920 processor from the xiaomi 11i device as you can see it's even so xiaomi 11i hypercharge and 11i they both have same dimensity 920 processors so right now let me show you exactly the default settings so dimensity 920 so smooth and extreme settings you can play here and balanced and extreme ba sorry balanced and ultra hd and ultra hdr and ultra ultra hd is not supported at this moment as you can see when these are the few graphic settings in the xiaomi 11i device regarding the dimensity 920 processor so 920 is also not supported with the 90 fps next is a dimensity 900 chipset dimensity 900 i do have the oneplus nord ce2 oneplus nord ce2 did have the dimensity 900 processor in this device the graphic settings are smooth and extreme settings balanced and ultra hd and ultra hdr and ultra ultra hd is not supported in this device you can clearly see friends what's going on in the dimensity 900 processor that's the explanation and next is about the dimensity 800 you forget about it it, it won't even support 60 uh, FP, fps so we cannot expect 90 fps so overall in the dimensity only realme x and max is supported with the one uh, 90 fps in the dimensity 1200 only that one phone so maybe hopefully in the next time we will be seeing dimensity 9000 dimensity 8100 dimensity 8000 so maybe those phones may support 90 fps but right now this is a scenario friends so this is friends thank you for watching and hopefully this video might be really helpful for a lot of other users as well and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and also do follow me regularly for this kind of really good content in my channel and don't forget to check out the playlist for more information on the battery and mobile game latest videos always follow the playlist of the battery and mobile game 1.9 playlist and you can actually see all the videos which i did upload fps drop test and battery draining test and speed test all the details meanwhile signing off friends thank you for watching and you know, straight up more updates and bye